everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with another bonus love read, which is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio, if you really want to know what is the future of your relationship, this reading is definitely for you. So in this reading, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide this reading into four halves. And um, in the first one, I will be talking about the Scorpios dealing with the water sign. Then I'll be talking about the Scorpio dealing with the fire sign. Then I'll be talking with the Scorpio who's dealing with an earth sign. Then talking about the Scorpio which is dealing with an air sign. So you can switch to like, you know, your partner's sign and see how the relationship is going to pan out for you in, in that particular con connection. So yes, yeah, stick around and uh, just be mindful. It's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. Pick whatever resonates and leave the rest. And uh, for personal reads you can always reach out to me on my email id in the description box you can also uh check out other services that i offer as well in the description box so we are talking about the water sign first so scorpio what is going to be the future of your relationship with the water sign what is going to be the future of your relationship with the water sign i really feel like you know for some of you um, the water sign is going to be more of a dominant in this relationship. I feel like, you know, whoever it is that you're dealing with, this person is going to be more uh, controlling. So I really feel like, you know, you will have, like, you know, if you like that side of a person, then you're going to love it. But if you are somebody who feels like, you know, your person is so dominating, uh, so um, controlling, you probably wouldn't like it much. And you will start feeling like you're blocked or, you know, as if like you're, not, you're unable to breathe with being with this person. This person can also be somebody who's very possessive of you as well. So your relationship would be um, sabotaged by this attitude of your person for some of you. Let's see. Um, I feel like, you know, for majority of you, um, this person would want you to change. And if, if that's the case... I really feel like, you know, it is going to require a lot of courage. I feel like you know, for some of you, this relationship can be very transformational for you as well. Um, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, I don't know why, but I feel like, you know, for a majority of you, you wouldn't like the change that this person brings in your life or this person would want you to change for them. So you would probably not like that dominating side of this person um, or, you know, they wouldn't like this dominant side of you if that's you and your energy with the water sign. So I really feel like, you know, there will be like a lot of controlling energy here, which is going to influence this relationship in a negative way. So let's move on to the air sign. Let's see what's um, going to be the future of your relationship with an air sign. Let's find out. We do have air. Wow. There you go. I really feel like, you know, this this uh, relationship with an air sign could be an ace. Like, you know, your life could be completely wonderful with this person. Um, I really feel like, you know, for some of you, um, there is a great potential in that relationship with an air sign. And I feel, uh, sorry, with the fire sign. Uh, hold on. Did, did I talk about the fire sign or did I talk about the air sign? Huh. Um, num, num, num. I forgot, but the air sign came up. So I will just... Uh, talk about the air sign first I'm, I'm completely confused now i don't know what i talked about was it about like a fire sign or was it about the air sign maybe you're dealing with somebody who has both in their chart a dominant situation but i'm going to talk about this reading as an air sign so if you are dealing with an air sign i really feel like you know your potential with that person is going to be very strong so air sign is going to be somebody that is going to be like um um you know, somebody who's going to be um, having a lot of potential in their relationship with you. Probably they will be more understanding. Probably they will be more caring. Probably they will be like more in in uh, into you. And I feel like, you know, for some reason, um, I really feel like, you know, your relationship uh, with this person could be... Um, could be very reasonable i feel like you know you are gonna feel like you know very very happy and you know um you, you feel like you know that person is logical so they they appeal to you more as compared to like you know the dreamy side of another probably water sign or something i feel like you know you you would feel like um you know th there is a match that you feel with this uh air sign uh energy i really feel like gemini libra aquarius could be significant um people in your life or you're gonna feel like you know they have more to offer as, a, as an individual to you being a water sign i feel like you know something like that is what i can see here let's see the other card here uh dealing with an air sign um i feel like you know, you're gonna feel like you know you you are gonna feel a big uh 
bond with this person um if if you if you are dealing with this person already you're gonna feel like you know there there is a lot that you gel along with um so i really see this connection has more potential than any other connection let's see um for for the fire sign now let's see what the fire sign and your relationship with the fire sign can be like um for some of you uh when we talk about the fire sign i really feel like you know for some of you you might um get the um it's a small like fire sign can help you this person that you are dealing with um and the connection that you have with this person it can it can make you feel like you know you are you are in your zone you know their their connection with you is going to be something which is going to um help you in so many ways that you have no idea about i really feel like you know you will feel like you are you are getting that um you're getting that um passion excitement um motivation that that nobody else can bring in you so i feel like you know this person can help you break through some some stereotypes some 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 things that that you felt like you couldn't do so this person is going to help you a lot uh when it comes to you know them i really feel like and they're going to be like you know somebody who's uh, um who's who's gonna you know help you awaken your own creative side so which is going to help you be yourself more than anything else. And I really feel like you know, that connection can go long term. Um, let's see. Um, another card for the fire sign. Um, I feel like, you know, fire sign can help you break free from the past relationships as well. I feel like you know, they can bring in the happiness and, you know, get rid of you of the suffering that you've had. So fire sign can be like, you know, giving you the breakthrough in terms of moving forward, which you could not do on your own or being with any other sign. I feel like you know, the, the, the match is going to be like, you know, um more um understanding between you and this person let's see your relationship future with the uh, with the um, out sign let's see how your relationship with an out sign can be you will be receiving a lot of love and affection coming from an earth sign. I feel like, you know, if you are with someone, I feel like, you know, you just have to open yourself up to receive their love. Uh, earth sign can bring a lot of stability in your life. I feel like, you know, they will be the giver in the connection and you will have a more fulfilling relationship with an earth sign. Um, I feel like, you know, for some of you, uh, you are going to block the love coming in because I feel like, you know, maybe, maybe you are not like, you know, so recept uh, receptive to so much love coming in. So an earth sign and you will be like having some, something or I feel like, you know, with an earth sign, probably you will have the same issues as you are having the, uh, the ones with the, with the water signs where you're going to feel like, you know, they are, um, they're too much in terms of what they give in and you are finding it hard to kind of absorb. Uh, sometimes you feel like, you know, you cannot love them back the way they love you or something like that. So I really see you having those issues with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, with the, with the earth sign. So I really see, uh, something like that. So I really feel like, you know, um, if I have to like, you know, pick one, um, I really feel like, you know, the air energy seems like, you know, the best for you. I feel like, you know, being with an air sign can help you. Uh, transcend in, in so many ways that you cannot even imagine. So I feel like, you know, your connection with an air sign can be better than any other sign. Um, and especially if you if you don't like having someone in your life who's controlling, the water sign is a big no. Uh, when it comes to the, um, which sign was that? I think fire sign. I feel like, you know, fire sign can also be a good one. But earth sign is going to be definitely too much for you to handle. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. If it was of help, do like, share, and subscribe till I do the next read for you guys. Take care. And uh, if you're willing to purchase any of the services that I offer, check the description box for that. And yeah, till I do the next read, take care. Bye.